Everything's kind of important in the Trojan story, I have to say. People talk a lot about the punky reggae party that happened in the late 70s. And I know a little about that, about that. But the truth of the matter is, Trojan were there way before. That's the good thing with like Trojan ska music. It's, people call it the music of the summer because everybody loves it. When it's a nice warm day, I just think there's nothing better. Without Trojan, I don't think you'd have half of these bands because they were all heavily influenced by Trojan and the early reggae. Yeah, the Skinhead movement helped spread Trojan up and down the UK and you know people like Terry Hall and Paul Simonon and Joe Strummer and you know John Lydon who was rotten back then that's the stuff they would have been listening to is the Trojan catalogue. There would always be a slight drum sound, a bass line, some guitar riffs. I think it's had a huge influence across a lot of music genres within British subcultures without a doubt. A Skinheads is just sort of like it's not to be like associated into like political groups and stuff. It's just like all oh, for us anyway. It's about like the music and the fashion. Trojan is is important because it's a it's a symbol. It's a symbol not only on the clothes or a tattoo, but it shows it defines certain people of who they are. <laughs> We sort of share all the same music, fashion, yeah, yeah. obviously. Like, I think the pride in who we are, yeah. definitely. A lot of people like to hide it and they, they like to say, I'm not this, I'm that, and I'm this. And we, we just, yeah, we're happy to say, much. this is what we are and we're all part of this and that's it. I, th I think the, the biggest stereotype we get is, it's not so much racism, it's it's EDL, all this political like crap. Like first, yeah. Yeah, it's, we get stereotyped into thinking we give a crap about politics because we, yeah. I don't know, maybe because we stand out people think we're trying to make a statement on this, but we're not, we're just trying to, we're just being us. <laughs> You know, they presume that, like, you know, skin is equals racism. It's not true. At that time, it was like, it, yeah, it essentially brought people together. The music and the style. For me, that's really weird, seeing Sid basically dress like I was dressing. It's because you never, there's not many people who want to dress like their parents, far from it, isn't it? It's all to the fine detail. Everyone's got to fit right, everyone's got to sit right, and it's just got to be done properly, like to the measurement. It's all in the detail. The dress code isn't for everyone, but I think it's all about being smart and taking pride in your appearance. You know, if you, like I said, if you really love the music, it sort of goes hand in hand. When I go to a gig with him, obviously I stand at the back because I'm getting a bit too old to dance, and I see him <laughs> dancing, thinking, oh, that was me once. Now, I, well, I'd struggle. <laughs> it's nice seeing it, but you know, you want to dance, but you just think, oh, I've had my day, I'll let him do it. Trojan in the 21st century, I'll tell you what, they don't have to try too hard. It has an eternal appeal. And I ain't trying to sell you anything, it's just a fact. You put a Trojan track on and believe me, you'd have to be brain dead for you to not start moving. I see a lot of younger kids and then the older kids, they're all like inspired by like the generation above them anyway, you know, so I'll forever be there.